Apparently, 420 things grow in Ontario. It's a good place. <laughs> Where Dave's not there, man. <laughs> okay. Check out youtube.com slash 420 things. Well, I got to check it out. 420 T H I. Oh, 420 T H I, small i, N, capital N, capital G, capital S. I will try it. And I will uh, subscribe, yeah. I'll do that right now. 420 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and another unboxing. Uh, I had an active air fan up in my 5x5 tent, and about a year and a half, not even, a year and two months, and it's kaput, it died. So I went and got a Hurricane um, fan. So this, I got this off of Amazon. Uh, there will be a link in the description for this. Um, and uh, there's no coupon code because it's just an Amazon thing. But if you do happen to buy it on Amazon, I will get um, credit for it. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you use my, my, my link so I can get some, uh, some, 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 some more money for more stuff like this. So let's get into it. I know the Active Air one was, uh, it was a bit... Um, weird with the um the screen now that being said the front screen I, I don't know if i'm gonna even put it on it's never um <laughs> it's never like there's people's fingers getting in there it's above the plants it's above everything and it'd be easier to clean if it wasn't on there there'd be less stuff getting jammed in the the grates and stuff so i think i'm probably gonna leave it off this time but we'll take a peek at it that was just in there like that. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, geez, that's heavy. These are definitely more heavy duty than the other one. It feels like it anyways. Oh, look at the setup. It looks pretty sweet. But we'll see how it goes. So that's the back one. We're going to need that one. This is the front one, which I said I'm probably going to leave off. And here's the fan. Sorry for... Uh, doing this unboxing on this chair i'm kind of in a chair myself here uh i had some surgery on my leg and uh, i'm not able to m put any weight on it so it's going to be pretty tough going forward so i got my neighbor coming over later to help with the install so we'll get this into the tent and we'll show you how i install it in a in a five by five tent um and we'll go from there so mounting bracket it looks like yeah mounting bracket some uh i guess those are like drywall um, stuff I won't be using that but uh, yeah that's looks like that's the mount we'll see how it works yeah okay here's that here's that I wonder where it must be there it must be already on here I, it is already on there perfect all right so this is um, reverse thread so you're gonna want to loosen it the opposite way Get that off. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I tried. <laughs> uh, I was trying to do it so that it wasn't. Um, it's actually written here, loose and tighten. This one's regular. Um, I was trying to not have that happen so that I would... Is there a certain way this must go? Circle. There. It's got to go there. This has this little kit sticking up here. This fits here, this fits here, that fits there. Perfect. That's on. I mean, in theory, do I even need this one? I guess I don't, really. But we'll put this one on anyways, because we're here. Now I gotta figure out how to get this without jamming up my leg. Ah. All right. Put that back, get the fan blade on, it has a little bit of a, a cutout here, right, you can see the cutout, I'm assuming you can see the cutout, yeah, yeah, yeah. now it's got to go right in there, and then reverse thread. And there, the fan pretty much ready to go 
Now, let's look at this setup here. So this just kind of, you're going to have to screw this onto your wall or whatever you're going to screw it onto. And then this just kind of sits on it. But you got to remember, so when you look at this, okay, and you see this down here and uh, you see this up here, you got to have a little bit like these, these, these are the plastic pieces or rubber, actually rubber. But when you mount it, you want to make sure you mount this. So when this sits on, it has somewhere to touch to. So I have a two by six um, that I'm going to mount it to. Two by four, maybe a little bit light and it would push here. So it may not be the perfect thing. So yeah, so that's it. So uh, my neighbor has shown up graciously to help with this. My wife has left, so we might have to do it later, but um, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm hoping that this fan is going to last longer than the last one. This one says that it has a one-year warranty, so that's... I'm past that anyways with the other one, so who knows. But this Hurricane fan, I've seen good reviews, so we'll see. All right, so there's the old bracket. We're not taking it down because we didn't have the right bit. And uh, there's the other bracket at the very top of the two by six. So we got enough way down. So as you can see, the feet are about three quarters of the way onto the two by six. Um, if you needed to and you were worried about this, I mean, you could add an extra little bit to jump underneath it, but I'm not worried about this. It's going to be fine. So there is the man, fan mounted. That is even. So there we go. The fan is now in without the face onto the two by six in the tent. It's held on by three holes on either side. Got some zip ties there on either side and I've got ratchet hangers to be able to adjust the height. So yeah, it's a pretty easy setup for a little tent, whatever you got a four by four or five by five, just measure in between the two pipes and away you go. So that's the end of this video. If you, want, if you like this setup and you want to get one, go over to Amazon. The link is in the description. And yeah, like, subscribe and do all that jazz. Yeah.